welcome back. We sure hope that you are enjoying the show. A big thank you to Governor Alfred Mutua for stopping by. And of course, we also do want to receive your feedback every single morning right here on K24. Welcome to our very brand new look right here on the show. And of course, uh, we will be taking a look at some of your feedback on our Twitter, Facebook, and of course, Instagram accounts, but keep them coming. My name is Shiko Kaitani. And on our very first episode of Health and Wellness on K24 this morning, uh, we are dedicating it to you gentlemen as we deal with a very personal problem and that is male sexual dysfunction. We are going to be focusing on just two, erectile dysfunction and what we call inhibited sexual desire, what we commonly know as low libido. So this discussion uh, is actually one of the most requested topics on our health segments and so today we hope that you're actually going to be get some of the answers that you need uh, in regards to the causes, uh, how we can actually prevent this, and most importantly, what to do about it. Now, in just a few, we are going to be welcoming wellness coach and nutritionist Dr. Jane Kimani, uh, who will be talking to us a little bit about natural remedies that could be beneficial. But for now, allow me to welcome urologist Dr. Charles Waihenya to the show. And right next to me is fitness coach Gideon Onoka, uh, who has trained the likes of Shafi Weru, the likes of Sanaipe Tande, and of course, currently radio personality Maina Kageni. Gideon! Thank you. Can I say strong? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Dr. Waihenya. Hi. Hi, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very strong handshake there. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Welcome, gentlemen. Um, let me start off with you, Dr. Waihenya, because like I said, it's a very personal problem. And obviously, you both know this because yeah. of from your consultations. Um, what are some of the symptoms of ED and what do men really do experience? Because we're focusing on ED and low libido. Why don't we start off with that? Uh, thanks, Shiko. Yeah. First of all, as a... A word of introduction. Yes. I'm a urologist mm -hmm. and uh, I practice at Empisha Hospital. Okay. And one of the conditions that we deal with is erectile dysfunction. Right. And uh, erectile dysfunction is more common than we actually think. Mm. One reason is because men are shy about it. Right. They don't want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And in many instances, you'll find that the man is brought to the hospital by the wife. Yes. Or by the partner. Mm -hmm. And say this man is not performing. Right. And most of uh, the time, it brings a lot of tension in the family, mm. where probably the man is thought to be having an affair out there. Yeah. But that is most of the time not correct. Mm -hmm. So uh, the issue, the, the, the condition of erectile dysfunction, low libido, or yeah. as we say, low desire for sex, mm -hmm. is actually very common. Yeah. And it increases with age. Okay. And uh, it is a condition that actually has definite causes. Right. For example, the commonest cause of erectile dysfunction may be uh, what we call comorbidity diseases, mm -hmm. where people with diabetes, yeah. people with hypertension, mm -hmm. people with high cholesterol, yeah. what we call the hyperlipidemia, mm -hmm. they tend to suffer from erectile dysfunction. Yes. Uh, there is also the psychogenic uh, type of erectile dysfunction, where yeah. people with stress, people have probably, they are struggling in their life, they are mm -hmm. not able to perform in bed. You will also realize that uh, uh, treatment is available yeah. because once you are able to take care of all these conditions, yeah. then men have a healthy sexual life. Okay. We tend to believe in Africa, sex yes. is like a taboo. Okay. People don't want to talk about sex. Mm. But oh. you realize that uh, sex is important in healthy relationships. Okay, okay. Yes. All right. Uh, uh, mm. Before uh, we carry on, I just want to let you know that, by the way, our lines are open in case you do have any questions or comments in regards to our ongoing discussion. And of course, our social media platforms are live and active at K24 TV on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Send in those questions starting now and let's see what we can do for you this morning. Uh, Gideon, um, yes. clearly, Dr. has said that it's more common than we think and many yeah. men are suffering in silence. Uh, what do you think you know, really stops men from talking. Explain to us, because obviously I wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, from a man's perspective, what really gets to men and stops them from actually saying, I have this problem? True. Uh, today I want to go very low so that even that person who is fearing to talk can be in a position to talk out. Yeah. Uh, the problem with us men is one thing we call ego mm -hmm. and competition in the, in the you know, yeah. men, men know, many men know yeah. when you are in a position to satisfy a lady, you know you are a real man. Mm -hmm. 
And now that is a problem that is leading all of us because we cannot even share. We don't even share the issues that we face in our bedrooms. Yes. So people who come up and uh, tarnish our name in a wrong way mm -hmm. are our partners at some point. Mm. So when you realize I'll, I'll be in a position to speak to this person and yeah. my self-esteem is low, mm -hmm. who knows tomorrow this person will come and pick my wife. Right. You, you know, oh, so wow. you better die with your own issues inside mm -hmm. as per what they are thinking. Right. But in real sense, there is a, uh, there is a therapy yeah. when you speak out because mm -hmm. there are solutions of uh, anything you feel like you're suffering yeah. outside here. Mm -hmm. So the problem majorly is uh, you fear to tarnish your name because mm -hmm. you don't know how that person will bring in the name. And you see, we don't even trust uh, the doctors at some point right. because uh, you go tell the doctor the issue, the doctor is the one who is coming now and akua fisi kwa nyumba So now you don't even, yes. you're not comfortable. Right. So you feel it's it's a bit disgusting to share your personal issues. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Dr. Terry, let me just take you back. Uh, before I actually made the call out to, um, you know, for feedback, you actually talked about what are the causes slightly. Yes. Uh, and so, you know, I'm wondering, is this a genetic thing? Could genetics actually be a huge factor? You've talked a little bit about the psychogenic. Does it start even from the mind? No, I, I, if we want to classify the causes of erectile dysfunction, yeah. you can just basically classify it into two. Okay. One of the causes is psychogenic. Okay. The one we are talking about, stress and those other life-related events. Right. The other one is vascular, mm -hmm. where the vessels in the genitals of a man are affected. Okay. Well, and there are many uh, reasons why these vessels are affected. Uh, an election is basically mm -hmm. pulling up blood mm -hmm. in the penis. Yes. That is all what an election is all about. Mm -hmm. So if there is a reason why the blood cannot get there, yeah. then that causes erectile dysfunction. Right. And before I forget, mm -hmm. uh, uh, everything else that causes erectile dysfunction mm -hmm. in the vascular uh, area mm -hmm. has something to do with the, the major smoking, for example. Okay. 50% of ED yeah. or 50% of people who are smoking yeah. have actually erectile dysfunction. Mm. And what is that uh, smoking doing to the vessels? Yeah. It is actually clogging up the vessels. Mm. You get what we call the atheromas, where there is coating of cholesterol and yeah. also some, uh, the vessels are actually affected right. so that they get very rigid. Mm. They are not able to fill up. Right. And uh, we have talked about the diabetes. Mm -hmm. Diabetes will give you high cholesterol. Yeah. It will affect the nerves mm. that actually supply the whatever, yeah. the, 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 the penile vessels. Mm -hmm. Then we are also talking about things like hypertension. Yeah. They damage the vessels. Yeah. You will also look at uh, issues like uh, alcoholism. Right. Men who are alcoholic, they are not able to perform in bed. Right. And do you know why? <laughs> yes. Ma the major reason is because the nerves, we call what we call alcoholic neuropathy, mm. the nerves mm -hmm. in that uh, organ, yeah. they are affected. They right. cannot be able to sense. And you know how, <coughs> of course, we have what is described as a drinking culture exactly, in Kenya. In Kenya. Uh, and so a lot of men are wondering, okay, why am I not able to? But it's it's really based on lifestyle. Uh, on lifestyle. Yeah, yes. Gideon, why don't you <coughs> add on to that? Because we're talking about our habits, um, especially when it comes to the drinking, especially when it comes to the eating. And, you know, you'll find perhaps people who are overweight as well. Yeah. Yeah. You see, we, the, the problem is we've not been having such kind of discussion to make people understand. Right. And uh, the level that we've set right now, it is maybe the people we are communicating to are people who really understand what ED mm. is. Mm -hmm. But when you go to the roots, right. this is the main cause of a lot of uh, mm -hmm. uh, marriages which are not working. Mm -hmm. And now because of the lady is doubting a man is having an affair there. Mm -hmm. But in real sense, what you put inside mm -hmm. will pay you dearly. Mm -hmm. So you see, putting inside means all the way from the diet. Yes. From the diet, how you're doing it, what you're putting inside in terms of alcohol. Yeah. Everything that you take, it has repercussions. Mm -hmm. So the simple way to do is to just change the lifestyle yeah. and try to engage yourself with people who really are aware of yeah. the situations and what is happening. Because mm -hmm. you see, if you don't keep up to date, right. what is happening, you might be doing it and you do not know. Yeah. And you see the, the information like this one, mm -hmm. it is so crucial because we need even doctors to as well go far and help those mm -hmm. people on the ground. Because mm -hmm. as you realize, yeah. at some point paying for consultancy in where my doctor works, yeah. for that person who is on the ground okay. is a bit uh, Give me a second because we actually do have a caller on the line. I understand we've got Edward. Good morning, Edward. 
Good morning, morning, morning. Yes, thank you so much. You have a question or a comment? Okay, sasa shida yangu. Yeah. By the way, one thing me shukuru sana kwa yale yote mimi naona mnafanya, ninaongea pale. Asante sana. Ya, yeah, unajua ni wengi sana wanaumia kisiri bila hata kusema. Mhm. Mm Lakini vile mimi nimeona mmesema sasa nimeamua hata mimi mwenyewe nijitokeze niseme. Oh, thank you. Surely hii kitu inatusumbua. Mhm. Sijui ni mawazo, sijui ni nini, sijui ni nini. Unaona tu hii kitu ina inatuleta shida mpaka kwa familia. Yeah. Paka sometimes mm. labda mama anaweza fikiria labda uko na mipango ya kando pande zingine. Mm. Unaona hivyo sasa? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm But truly this is not the real issue. Okay. Shida iko hapa. Tufanye nini? Na mtapatikana wapi huyu daktari atapatikana wapi tujue? Okay. Sawa. Asante yeah. sana for that. Um I think this like you said is actually quite an issue because you yeah. said that a lot of the patients are brought even by their wives yes. how you know we're not <coughs> seeing the gravity of yeah. this yes within marriage setups yeah. and the home yes how is this breaking families i, I think wa, wa, one of the reasons why men are brought in by their spouses yeah or their partners is because just like uh, he said many men are not able to face their problem mm. And uh, if there's something that is important in yeah. a man's life mm -hmm. is his ego. Yes. Right. So once his ego is finished, he's not able to... Women, women are easy at things, they talk about their problems, you know. Right. Uh, but uh, men are less emotional. Mm -hmm. They want to hide what they are feeling. Yes. And uh, you realize, uh, you asked me a question about how, mm -hmm. what symptoms and signs do uh, patients have when yeah. they have ED. Mm -hmm. <coughs> One of the reasons is that they cannot rise to the occasion. Mm -hmm. They cannot initiate an erection. Right. Let me put it plain, because right. that's what it is. Yeah. They cannot uh, sustain. Mm -hmm. They cannot initiate. Yeah. Sometimes they cannot even sustain. Mm -hmm. And uh, you realize that there's something we call a, a morning erection. Yeah. When men wake up in the morning, they wake up with an erection. Mm -hmm. That is a normal physiology. Mm -hmm. Once you are missing that in the morning, then you know it is the beginning of problems. Right. So even when we are taking history, yeah. we always ask the man, how often do you get morning erections? Oh, wow. Morning erections that are spontaneous. Mm -hmm. they, they, they are not caused by any sexual stimulation. Right. So okay. normally when they are missing that, then we know there is a problem. Mm -hmm. And then we also want to know what is their lifestyle. Right. For example, the, the, you ask about genetics. Yeah. The genetics will come in now to the genetic diseases, mm -hmm. like hypertension, right. uh, 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 diabetes, mm -hmm. those kind of stuff will come in their genetic water uh, marker. Yeah. So if you realize, if you have a first degree relative, yeah. who has, for example, diabetes, chances are, uh, the, the erectile dysfunction will catch up with you. Right. Yesterday when I was talking to you, we yeah. were talking about life starting at 40. Yes. And you asked me, what do you mean life starts at 40? Mm. Do you know why we say that? Mm -hmm. Because that is when everything comes. Right. That is when you get diabetes. Mm -hmm. That is when you get hypertension. Mm -hmm. That is when now you have children in high school and university. Yeah. That is when you want to build yourself a house. Okay. So there's okay. all these things that yeah. the man is carrying on his back. Yeah. Okay. Gideon, um, in your opinion, do you think that this actually affects younger men worse because they are at their prime uh, versus whoever is perhaps older? Because you can imagine being 20-something and these are the kind of issues that you're facing. Before you answer, Meshak is on the line. Good okay. morning, Meshak. Hello? Yes, good morning, Meshak. Naomi, mm -hmm. I'm calling from Kitale. Yes. Mimi ni kona shida ya diabeti. Na umu wana mgongo sana pia. Okay. Sa inafanya hiyo rupido inaribi chini. Kuji daktari ya tatuambia ni. Okay, sawa sawa. Thank you very much for that, Meshak. Okay, before we get to Meshak's question, uh, Gideon, you were telling me your thoughts on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, let me tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. The people who are suffering this the most, even when you do your research, yeah. it is people who are less than 35 years. Jeez, and you're wondering how. Yes. Because you'd think we are younger, we are more, yeah, you know. That is how it's supposed to be. Yeah. But the problem is there's a lot of competition mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of things in the media mm -hmm. that are pushing you towards doing some extra things mm -hmm. to impress ladies. Mm -hmm. And when you realize, after some point, 
uh, after some time in your life, before you realize what is happening, it has already damaged your system. Mm -hmm. You know, at some point you realize some people who have not been engaging in some supplementations and some tablets over the counter, mm -hmm. uh, they might face this problem, mm -hmm. but because they are not getting right consultation, mm -hmm. then maybe it is from the mind. Mm -hmm. You know, so not all problems comes from the main source that we think. Mm -hmm. Because at some point you can just get people, maybe you're overworking. Yeah. From your work, your mind is not settled. You come back home, maybe you have some quarrels, kidogo. You know, this, this is a normal thing we have. We have. Yeah. And then from there you eat, you eat badly. Mm -hmm. uh, so when you come to perform your duties yeah. as a man, mm -hmm. Nothing is happening. Right. So uh, to try to look for consultancy and you know where we stay, mm -hmm. maybe someone from uh, any place who called Wakijiji, you go to chemist to know lizard, ule and uza dawa. Niko naishida, naishida, naishida. Na high chances are that person is doing business. Mm -hmm. Atakupatia dawa ya haraka kukusaidia. Yes. Not knowing the damage in future, mm -hmm. what you're doing to your system. Okay. You get. Yeah, and let, let's talk a little bit about that because medication as one of the causes to this dactari yes. how prescription drugs can actually cause these conditions and yes. what we are loading ourselves uh as you think about that i understand we've got mwangi on the line uh yes mwangi yeah good morning good morning thank you for calling yes now uh, i have two questions eh? yes number one uh what causes premature ejaculation eh? mm -hmm. and number two can masturbation uh, reduce uh, your libido. Okay, thank you so much yes. for that. Okay, so Dr. you have quite a number <laughs> to answer here. Yeah. Okay, so um, we talked about the drugs very quickly. What do you have to say about that? Okay, now one thing we want to discourage the patients out there, yeah. that the best thing to do is first of all you need to see a clinician. Mm -hmm. Even sometimes when you cannot reach a urologist, yeah. for you to be able to be examined mm -hmm. and also tested to find out what is the cause of your problem. Right. Uh, the issues of uh, over-the-counter medications are very dangerous. Yes. And mm -hmm. you know some of those drugs have been known to kill people. Mm -hmm. Because uh, not even the young people, mm -hmm. Even 70s and the 80s, they come to your office and they are looking for something for remedy for their erectile dysfunction. Wow. So, and uh, like I told you yesterday, mm -hmm. for a man who is 70 mm -hmm. and takes some of those drugs mm -hmm. and he doesn't know what the condition of his heart is, mm -hmm. it is like, like running 100 meters race. Right. So you can imagine the heart, maybe the heart is sick, the heart cannot handle. Right. But all said than done, wow. even the medications we are using for, for hypertension, maybe if one is hypertensive, yes. they are taking some medication for that, mm -hmm. or they are diabetic. Mm -hmm. Some of those medications are a cause of erectile dysfunction. Right. So sometimes all we need to do is withdraw a particular drug and change for a supplement for, for another one. So what you're saying is for anyone who's watching who perhaps has these conditions, yes. needs to actually look at the, prescribe, the prescriptions they have. Exactly. And start from there. Exactly. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, very quickly, we looked at looking at Mwangi's case. What is the cause of premature ejaculation, and can masturbation actually cause this? Exactly. Mm. Now, uh, let me start with the, the masturbation. Yeah. Masturbation is a common cause of erectile dysfunction in the young males. Mm. And you know why? Mm -hmm. Because they have what we call, uh, maybe a young man, the teens especially, they do a lot of masturbation. Yeah. But later in life, that affects their psychology. Mm -hmm. They have what we call performance anxiety. Mm. Now they have been doing all that, now they are ready to get married and they yeah. think, oh, I'm not going to be the, 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 the correct kind of a person. So masturbation is something that harms the youth. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. may not uh, be apparent at the moment, yeah. but later in life it acts uh, it does the affect psychology. You. Okay. The premature ejaculation is mm -hmm. a very common cause. Yeah. Every time a patient comes to my office, I always have to shoot that question. Yeah. Are you coming too early? Yes. Because once you come too early, then you get into a vicious What's cycle. This, what is described as too early? Please educate us. Too early is about uh, a minute or two. So before some, a minute is... Some people are not even able to penetrate. Oh, And okay. by the time you are there, it's, and then you leave the other partner so anxious. Yes. 
And you know, women can be quite emotional. <laughs> really, Dr. Gideon, <laughs> <Okay. So, laughs> <laughs> stay on your seat, stay on your seat. <laughs> no, yes. the, now the, the premature ejaculation is a, is a, is a, is a condition yeah. where the, 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 the organ of the male is too sensitive uh -huh. that they are not able to carry on. Okay. We describe as the optimal time for the, the activity yes. as about seven minutes. Seven minutes. Yes. Wow. Wow. On that note, how about we take a short commercial break? We still have more to come on this particular discussion as we talk about male sexual dysfunction. We are going to be looking at some of your feedback, so go ahead, get in touch with us at K24TV on Instagram, Twitter, or even Instagram, and let's see what we can do for you this morning. Keep it K24.